What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Netflix 5 Star Challenge. Now, I decided to change up the format a little bit on this and instead of going categories, you know, with like the plot, action, acting, whatever, I decided to talk about the plot, give my thoughts on it, and then give the positives and negatives of the movie and just give it a rating from there. But today's movie is King Solomon's Minds, which I've heard about it before and everything I've heard really has not been good. I always hear, oh, it's crappy, it's your typical B-movie junk, you know, that kind of stuff. So when I saw Netflix predicted I would give it a five-star rating, needless to say, I was a little curious, and I decided to watch it one day because I really couldn't find anything else to watch. So let's just jump right into it. Now, the plot of this movie is so paper thin that it really borderline stupid. But all this is about is Alan Quartermain helping a girl find her father who has been kidnapped because he knows a way to decipher the map to find King Solomon's mines. That's it. I mean, it's like I said, it's paper thin. But the one thing that this story had going for it was it was nicely paced. There were no dull moments. It wasn't like, you know, there was a moment where, okay, we're progressing the plot, progressing the plot, and then nothing for like five, ten minutes. Nothing like that. It was nicely paced. <clears throat> and it was short, at least. I mean, that's another positive. But plot, eh. In a movie like this, the plot's really secondary. So, for what it was, it was decent. Now, for the positives. Richard Chamberlain and Sharon Stone had a lot of good chemistry together. And it really shows on screen. It makes it more enjoyable to watch, in my opinion. They just worked well together. They played off of one another. And it made the movie more enjoyable, more entertaining to watch. Easier to get through, as well. Chamberlain was really great as Alan Quartermain. I felt he carried the character well. He did have a presence of a hero on screen, on screen in my opinion. And I, I thought it worked well. He played the role very nicely, and it was entertaining. Now, the, this is kind of a, a positive and a negative. The jokes in the movie were extremely corny but in a way it kind of added to the charm of the movie if that makes sense it's like almost like the jokes were so bad that it added to the character of the film and for a low budget movie this did have some great action sets and a lot of nice design layouts for the sets themselves I mean the villages are varied and none of them look alike. So that's definitely a plus. There wasn't too much I didn't like about this movie, but there are a few things that I did have. The film felt like it was just a chain of action sequences. Our hero gets into one predicament. Okay, he's out of that. Boom, he's right into another one. He's out of that. Boom, right into another one. That's the entire movie, pretty much. Finally, while it was done to play up the comedic aspects of the film, there were some points where I felt the movie did things that were just stupid. I mean, just to give an example, hopefully I'm not spoiling a nearly 30-year-old movie for anyone, but one of the villains gets shot. You think he's dead. Five minutes later, he's back. What was the point of shooting him? I mean, it's just stupid things like that that kind of ruin the movie. But, you know, overall, it's not a five-star movie. If I had to put a rating on this, I would probably say King Solomon's Mines is three and a half stars. Simply because it was entertaining to watch. I don't know why it was entertaining to me, but... There was never a point where I thought, you know, this is stupid, I don't want to watch this. It kind of drew me in 
and then seeing the action just one after another. It's stupid as hell, but I give it three and a half stars. So King Solomon's Mind, three and a half stars.